welcome to this episode of YouTube, where up until a couple of days ago, we had some relatively mild weather and losing a lot of snow. And you can see here the world's using that upper hillside to stay cool, but also creating a little bit of a camouflage effect where it's really hard to tell, but all four wolves are up there uh, resting with each other. And then winter seemed to come back, and with it uh, came a little bit of ritualized dominance, and especially between the two Arctics, Grayson and Axel doing a chin rest here. Lots of interesting behaviors to kind of monitor here. So this is kind of a, what's called a T formation or a T off, where Axel's uh, crossing and making a T out of Grayson's body. His ears are pricked forward, his tail is almost in a T2, kind of straight back tail. He's backing up slowly and posturing, and then Grayson puts his head on Axel's back, again, showing a little bit of status, trying to show a, a little bit of ritualized dominance. So these two have been kind of going back and forth a little bit. Uh, when it gets cold and it gets snowy, certainly something triggers wolves to get a little bit more dominant. And so, but the good thing is Axel and Grayson are bugging each other. They're not bugging Bolts and Denali. Bolts is taking a rest on the slate den and Denali is down in the snow. I think at uh, a wolf about to be 12 at the end of the month here, climbing on top of the dens is getting to be a little bit harder. So he tends to just kind of hang out in the snow a little bit. We had another visitor come into the exhibit, and this uh, we want to thank Donna Mac um, Iwanski, who uh, sent me an email on Saturday and said, did you know you had an eagle land in your enclosure? And we've been hearing eagles quite a bit. Uh, so if you have our webcams on, you can hear the sounds of the eagles. Sometimes they land, sometimes they just hang out in the trees. Uh, but in this case, the eagle landed and we see in the background Axel coming down and doing a little bit of kind of approach, a little stalking, and he actually chases the eagle and tries to grab the tail feathers. So we need to remind Axel that he, uh, the eagles are a protected species, so grabbing an eagle is not uh, recommended. So those kinds of things happened. and. Uh, Certainly, we do, we do see them as a stimulus for the wolves. And uh, obviously, Grizzer needs a stimulus, and uh, he is a wolf about to be 16 on May 5th. And uh, the good thing for him is he's had a really great uh, pro list of projects going, that have gone on in retirement for him, creating some radiant heat and uh, making one side of the enclosure relatively warm and dry. And we have opened up the other side of the enclosure, you can see still piles of ice there on, um, on that side of the enclosure. But uh, we've opened up the door so he can have some face-to-face -face meetings with the exhibit pack. And that's really been helping him. It happens on a daily basis. We don't leave it on overnight because obviously there's a risk of him tripping or some issues. But uh, you want to join our Friday feature webinar where we do an update of the pack. Uh, log in to our wolf.org and you'll see a link uh, to our Friday feature. This Friday feature will have a password. So uh, check it out and join us so you can get a little bit more information about our pack. Thanks for watching.